Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to install a failed start recovery on your Samsung Galaxy S5 without a PC. So most of the guys out there have booted their phone without a PC and now uh, they want to install a custom recovery but they are not finding a way. So what you want to do, this, is, this will work with G900T, G900i, G900H, the G900F and the G900FD. Okay, uh, so first of all what you want to do is uh, download the uh, what do you say the recovery dot image file from the description down below then go to play store and type flashify flashify and this app just install this app no not this one I'm sorry I'm sorry not this one uh, yeah this one Okay, so install this. Okay, once it, uh, once, uh, it is installed, uh, the, uh, when, uh, when you will download the recovery.image file, it will be in the download folder. So what you want to do is move, the, move it to your device storage. Like, I think I don't have the file right now, but yeah, I will give you an example. Like, uh, for example, uh, Take it, this is an uh, download folder, okay? I will hold this file and move it to device storage and right here, just move it. I will just move it, okay? So once it is moved, just go to the Flashify app and hit accept. It says checking for root, grant the permission and then hit this uh, option recovery a uh, recovery image then hit choose a file then hit uh, file explorer this one and hit just once okay so go to sd card and then you will see here uh, you will find the app you just moved it will say recovery dot image let me see if i have the uh, file or not wait a moment Okay, so when you will uh, try to download the file, the recovery.image file, you will get this annoying pop-up and uh, it's not going to, like you're not going to download the file because of this pop-up. So the trick I used uh, was don't log into your, if uh, don't log into your Farshare account. And if you are logged, uh, logged in, then just log out. How to log out now? Let me see how to log out and uh, no, I think you uh, want to go to settings and uh, yeah, here it is, here it says log out, here, there, here it is, just hit log out, okay, so once you are logged out of your account, just go to the link down below, okay, so I will go to the link, I've copied that link. Okay, so just hit download. Don't log into your uh, Fortune account, okay? I'll just go back. Back. Just hit free download, and then log into your account, and you will uh, uh, download. You will be able to download the file. I am still logged logged into my account, so that's why it's showing me this. But it's uh, it's preferred to recommend it to use a Chrome browser. Okay. So once you downloaded the file, just go to Flashify. <clears throat> just downloaded the file so I can give you like an idea. Okay, so go to SD card. Go to SD card, and where is the file? Music, pictures, clients, tweaker. I think I need to open it again because I just uh, downloaded the file. Okay, so recovery image. Choose a file, uh, SD card, where is SD card, here it is, then, then in the download, and there is a file, recovery.image, then hit this file, hit yeah, yep, and it says flashing, wait for it to flash, reboot now, and you see I will have custom recovery on my phone.
What? It's not booting? No problem. I've rebooted manually. Oops. Just hit restart and recovery. See this cool animation I have? It's pretty funny. Okay. So you see right there it says recovery rebooting recovery is not seen Android. So that's mean I am running a custom recovery and it's the fill touch. Okay, so this wraps up for this video. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. And I will meet you in the next video. Till then, have a nice day.